Hello, and welcome to my unboxing of the Winchester 68-piece Universal Gun Care Case. I already took off the cardboard box for this, which is right here. And let's get inside this. I unzipped it, and let's do it. So, what we have is a pretty decent case from the looks of the inside. Um... We have two sets of brass rods here, uh, extendable, look, of course, and we have all our nice brushes and mops in here, uh, as you can see them all, and it goes through multiple gauges and calibers, and we have another set of mops over on this side. Um, so, well, these are removable. Uh, and you can see the gauges on them. That's your shotgun side and your high caliber side, obviously. Uh, it looks like some black powder, 50 cal, and whatnot over here. Um, also, this one here. Now, these are your slotted tools for your patches. Um, I don't know what they did here or why they did it, but they gave us plastic. Uh, everything else is brass in here, and I'm pretty, pretty shocked that they gave us slotted pieces for that, uh, or plastic pieces, I'm sorry. Uh, you can see the jags over here, they're solid brass, they're beautiful, perfect, it's what you want. Um, the brushes over here, and all of them have their caliber size on them. Which is fantastic. It goes down to a 1.7 caliber, 0.17 caliber, which is unbelievable and fantastic. It's great to have. Um, your mops, and you got your 12 gauge down to a. I thought there was supposed to be a 4.10, but it looks like it goes down to a 20. Um, maybe I missed it on this side. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's your 4.10. So you have your three shot, most common shotgun sizes. No 16 gauge in there, everyone. Uh, let's get to these jags. All right, you got the jags in here. Uh, solid brass, all labeled very well. Uh, wow, you can't beat that. I mean, those are fantastic. Um, you got your handle for your brass rods. Uh, and your adapters for your brass rods and your fittings. Uh, they got a no frills uh, patch kit in here um, for cleaning and nothing fantastic I'll tell you that. And then you have your brushes and all the stuff is removable which is really nice. Um, so we got a, a bronze What's this one? That one is nylon? No, nope, that's stainless. Then they got a nylon, smaller brush, your cleaning pick, fine cleaning, another push through right here, and a smaller bronze and a smaller nylon. So pretty nice little setup on the brushes. That's fantastic. Um, your other swabs over here, or your mops, I'm sorry. Uh, pretty nice little case. Um, now, I heard the biggest complaint on Amazon, which is where I bought this from, was uh, the rods. And people are saying that the threads aren't threading properly, and they're loose, and they have play in them. Well, I'm looking at these, and I got my readers on, so I can see it pretty damn well. Uh, they look pretty clean. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, if I'll be able to get it to focus in on something that fine. This is a smaller rod. Come on, focus in. Yeah, well, I can't get it to focus in, but those threads are pretty clean. I work at a machine shop, and uh, from what I can see, and feel. I mean, I don't feel a burr on there. Uh, they're pretty clean. And uh, I don't see any problem with them. There's people saying they're cross-threading. 
So let me see if I can't put one together real quick here. While you all be waiting with my wonderful camera skills here. Man, it just went right together. All right, no issues. Nice and solid. The rods seem to feel solid. They don't feel like they're hollow rods. Um, wow, I mean, I, I didn't have an issue at all putting this together. This I, It was easy as heck. So I don't see a problem with the threads. Uh, maybe on some of the pieces in here, but um, I'm looking at a few of them and just glancing at them. And, man, they looking like they're in pretty good shape to me. The threads look like they're t done pretty well. Now, it's a Winchester case. Of course, it's probably made in China. I mean, everything is today. So, I mean, it is what it is with that, but they, they, they put some time into it. It looks, uh, it looks pretty well put together. It's pretty stout. I mean, I, right now, I recommend this case. This, I mean, the Jags, I mean, getting the brass Jags, that's a plus. That, I don't understand. I don't understand the plastic slotted pieces for the patches. I just, I really don't. I mean, you went all the way on all this Winchester. You should have went all the way on the brass for the uh, slots. Um, the case is real nice, too, as well. I don't think I said anything about it. Let me just take this and close it. Um, it's a soft case, but it is like a clamshell. So it's material wrapped around a cardboard, most likely. Uh, it's real nice. It's got the Winchester logo on it. I'm not a I'm not a Winchester shooter, but it's Winchester, you know. Come on, uh, <laughs> it, it's nice. I I would recommend this highly. Um, the people that have complained about the threads, well, you know, maybe something will pop up while I'm doing a clean today after I go out shooting. But uh, it's got everything I need in here. I mean, it's got from twenty uh, one seven point one seven caliber up to fifty caliber, and uh your pistols, uh, and your, obviously your rifles as well. You know, you got a 22 in there to clean probably your 2.7 or 227 on that. So, I mean, what, I, what I'm seeing and what, what's going on here, I, uh, I like it. I think it's, it's a pretty, pretty nice case. And like I said, just having everything labeled like this, I mean, you can't beat that. that that's fantastic. I saw the Otis case and if you want to read it, you got to look in the in the, it was a snake system. I'm not big on the snake. I like a rod. If stuff gets a little too dirty, you have the rod. You can go in and out a few times and take care of your stuff. Um, so, I don't know why I got out of focus here. There we go. So, this is the Winchester 68-piece universal gun case, um, gun care case. My review, my, my, my point of view of this, pretty decent, awesome little case. I, I, I recommend, for what it is right now, I recommend it. I will update my, uh, my review if anything goes wrong. If anything goes wrong with it. I don't see it happening. I would have liked a T-handle too, but hey, it is what it is. Beggars can't be choosers on that one. Uh, but the slots. Come on, Winchester.